Good morning, Good morning guys. guys. Welcome back to CNC Live for another vlog. It is December, so we are vlogging more than usual for you guys. Not necessarily Vlogmas, but we are vlogging more than usual. So, let's go and get started with our day. December 4th. And yes, today yes. we thought we'd start kicking out maybe some Christmas shopping. I'm going to go do. buy Cassie something this year, which I've been planning for a while, which today we're finally going to do it. But I can't vlog it because if I vlog the store, you guys, she will know what it is. And I have no idea what he's doing. Carlos claims this is like a great gift and that he has me beat this year on Christmas gifts. I It's because in the past years, I it's really hard for me to find something for her. But this year, I know what I'm going to get her okay. and I know she's going to love it. I'm so excited because I never get surprised. What I'm going to do today, I'm going to drop her off in some stores where she could go buy gifts for the, her nephews. Buy whatever and, I want. And her family. So I'm going to go off on my own. I don't know what he's planning, guys. You guys would leave in the comments what you guys think he's getting me. Because these weird hints he gives, it makes no sense to me. <laughs> he's like, I, got, I need time. I have to go look at different stores. I don't know what he's talking about. I might, I might not even find it today. I might have to go down to Orange County or something. Complicated. It's going to be hard. Now that it's Christmas time, guys, I now officially fit into this um, Halloween shirt I got. But I was like, you know what? I don't, I'm running out of options. So, Halloween shirt for Christmas it is. Why well, couldn't it have been like, don't eat Christmas ornaments or something, and then it could have been an ornament on my belly. I'm actually 22 weeks pregnant today, so it's really exciting. Let me see how dirty you are. Look at your feet. Oh, oh, look at your feet. Both the dogs are so freaking dirty. They got dirty from the dirt, and all back here is still dirt, Carlos. We still waging fe February for grass? For another two to five years. Ah, got it. Two to five years. Yeah, my grass is still... There is no grass still in no, the backyard. I've been killing it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's get started with our day. All right, I'm waiting for Carlos now, and I absolutely found nothing at Target. And I heard Carlos got my gift, and at Target all I found was a baby Yoda and a teether toy for baby Jay. So... I'm just waiting now. I'm like so exhausted from walking, but I'm gonna go Christmas shopping later. I need people to make lists for me. I don't just go shopping and get good gifts. All right, what'd you get me? I don't know. What was it? I didn't get you nothing. What'd you get me? I didn't get you nothing. I can't wait a whole three weeks. 21 days is how long what? do you want me to wait? Well, you can't have it because I don't have it right now either. What? You don't even have it? Why don't you have it? Because I couldn't find it. Shut up. <laughs> he said he found it. He's not telling me any information though. Come on. I have to go pick it up. In no a hints. Weeks. Pick it up? I had to get it as a special order. It's a good thing because it's pretty big so I don't want to put it it's in It's big too? I'm so confused. Every time I think I have it, I don't. I spent 20000 just <laughs> so you know, okay? You did not spend twenty grand. No, I'm just messing around. Leave in the comments what you guys think he got me and what I should get him because I'm now I'm like you know what I want now it's a battle okay <laughs> it's a battle of what to get him so we just got home and I know I haven't really updated you guys on the whole blood work thing going on right now because we're still waiting on results actually it's officially been over a week yeah and, and Cassie got a call earlier so she was gonna we're gonna call back and make sure so see if it was them, right? Because I don't know who called me and I missed it, of course. Like the one phone call I missed <laughs> in like the past week. Because I've been so on top of it waiting. But I did miss a call. I wasn't able to call back though. So I'm going to see now if uh, they maybe have my blood work back and they just haven't told me yet. I'm being a little bit nosy because it's Friday. Which means after this, I have to wait all the way till Monday. And I kind of just want to know maybe if they got it and just haven't called me yet. I'm just going to, I'm kind of getting stressed out. Because I just feel like the longer it takes to get the answers, the more like worried you get. Yeah. So like over time, I'm like, oh, it's no big deal. We're getting this blood work. I'm sure everything's fine. And then like as time goes on, you're like, well, what's taking so long? <laughs> uh, we'll let you guys know if anybody answers. If you need other assistance, you may press zero and an operator will... I'm going to call a different number. Four. Welcome. I think I did four. not recognize that as a valid entry. Welcome. And Wait while I transfer your call. Hi there, um, I saw you guys a little over a week now and I got blood work through you guys and I was just wondering maybe you guys have those blood re uh, results already. It's been five days and usually it's more like eight to ten, I want to say. Okay, eight to ten. Thanks, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, there you have it. They don't have it yet because we got blood work done literally on a holiday weekend. So, so the holiday is closed. It was closed that whole weekend from Thursday to Sunday. So... Starting Monday. Starting Monday. So it's been a whole five days. And they say sometimes it's between like 7 to 10, 8 to 10. So I guess we'll keep waiting. It's okay. I gotta call my mom back now. The dogs are already going crazy. I know. Coda's already at the door. He's like, where's Mama, where are you? 
We're gonna go on a walk right now, and Coda usually goes to the side of the door over here. So oh, because they know already. They know. They tell each other telepathically that we're going on a walk. Sit, sit. <laughs> She's like, we're going. <laughs> there we go. All right, I got mine. Where's the other one? The other one's over there. She's like, you better be taking me. She gets so excited. Okay, we're going. She starts crying. So you see, speak, speak. <laughs> <laughs> Did you speak? Good girl, you do know how to speak. All right, Cassie just got a voicemail. That's crazy. I literally just called these people 30 minutes ago, and they were like, "Nope, we don't got the results. I think you'll have to wait till next week or something." And then 4:55, I got a phone call, and of course, I didn't have my phone. We went on a walk, and I was like, "Sweetie, I'm gonna leave my phone at the house because I don't want to bring my phone." Cause I already left it inside, I don't wanna go back for it. And I just got a phone call and a voicemail saying, and I'll just kinda of play it for you guys. Hey Cassie, I think that you've probably already been called, but I wanted to call you as well, cause I'm so excited. It looks like the NAPT results came back all normal, which is awesome news. Um, so I'm really excited for you. If you had any questions. So, I mean, basically what it says is that she thinks the NAPT results came back a-okay, and that everything came back normal. So that's super awesome. I'll probably call them tomorrow for more information. So for the next time, don't do the other one. Yeah, I guess maybe I was calling the wrong people. I mean, that lady, I, I was, that lady was super nice. And she was like, I don't see it. But um, this is actually my genetic counselor. I guess it's probably who I should have called maybe. So now I know. But now I'm super excited. I'll probably give her a call tomorrow to like... Um, like learn more information about what they like talk what they're talking about exactly. That's so exciting news. It sounds like everything's gonna be okay. Alright, we got Coda's dinner, Cece's dinner, and our dinner. Yes, yeah, Cassie turned the corner and she's like, I'm gonna cut the carbs right now and eat a salad. That is definitely what I said today, not every day. <laughs> um yeah, we made a new thing where the dogs eat dinner with us every night. <laughs> yeah, we used to feed them in the morning, but now that we're feeding them in the night. They both have been finishing their food, which specifically, is... Specifically, Cece. Yeah, specifically this one. Coda, Coda always eats his food. Yeah, Coda definitely, yeah. He always eats his food, too. He'll, he'll <laughs> eat her food, any food laying around, anything and anything is up to grabs for Coda. But Cece actually has been finishing her food now that we feed her at night. I think she's a night eater, and we just finally learned that. But we thought she just, we she just hated her food, but turns out she likes it. We made the homemade own salad. It's got, like, romaine lettuce. It's got kale, cucumbers, carrots. And we got some chicken. Crispy chicken. It's the way I like it too. Oh my god, I can't believe these flowers are still in the house. <laughs> oh, I can't. Carlos. I'm gonna throw them away. I can't believe these I flowers gotta, are still here. I gotta put the trash out right now. These are the ugliest things ever. I'm like, look at this. Yeah, no. You let them die. I did let them die because I don't know how to take care of flowers. But they've been here for way too freaking long. They probably smell I, by now. They, you've had them for at least. Three weeks, I think. So I don't even don't say that. I don't even know how long we've had three them. Three weeks. Don't. Has it really been three weeks? Yeah. It's been since that last ultrasound, huh? I don't know. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Yeah, we've had these way too long. We need to throw these away. <laughs> All right, final thing, and we actually are gonna be using some classic balsamic vinaigrette. Yeah, Cause Cassie no longer likes ranch. I don't. Okay. I blame Carlos for this because for a long time I had ranch with everything, and then with Carlos I started having things with like lemon and salt or tapatio and now i don't like ranch as much anymore I know. before she used to just scoop the ranch and just with like cucumbers and scoop it again and just like have like a spoonful and of ranch carlos changed me and i don't even think it's pregnancy related i think this was before pregnancy before pregnancy i was already over ranch so uh, i like how crispy the chicken is <laughs> so, mm. all right i need you to tell me if it tastes good so i can see if i should put it on my okay it's good all right, that is really good. Mm -mm. No, no, this is not what we do. This is not what we do. Thank you, go eat your dinner. Ooh, what you got there? All right, sweetie, this is the last pumpkin drink that we have in the fridge. Uh -huh. And I haven't tried this one. Non-alcoholic, so, of course. Non-alcoholic, yes. That's why I want you to try it first. And you tell me if it's good. Carlos, for some reason, thinks someday I'll just like pumpkin flavored stuff. Like if she just keeps trying it. Maybe the baby will. I, I don't, don't think he likes it. Delicious, right? No. It tastes like it? root beer. How do you not like this? this is delicious? It tastes like root beer. I don't like root beer either. Oh, I shouldn't have gave you that sip. This thing is really good. <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> Bigger sip than that. You can't do those little baby drinks. You're right. It tastes like Pepsi. Blech. No, it doesn't taste. Don't. 
Don't say this tastes like Pepsi. That's right. You just drink it to yourself mm. then. New Netflix show is The Queen's Gambit. We're on episode two, but so far we kind of like it. It's kind of cool. A little bit different show, and it's normal from watching Office every night. Anyways, I think that's it for today's vlog. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. I'm so happy that we got the results back for him. It really brings my heart at ease because it was getting a little nerve-wracking after a while. So I'm really glad I have that. I'll have more information for you guys probably later. I'll probably um, call them next week because it's actually Friday night now. I'll have to call them and get more information. Thank you guys for all of your thoughts and your support and prayers. It has been all super awesome to read. And you guys wrote really sweet during the whole thing. So thank you. And again, we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.